Hey there guys, it's Silpa, your host, and we are back for another part of Jade Cocoon. Right, so, we have one quick thing I want to do before we finish exploring the Moth Forest. And that is to get the skeleton key and open that chest. Sadly, there are um, a few Radtodons between us and it. So we're going to hit them hard, hit them fast, get that skeleton key, and get on moving. So... Ulvi. Very nice. You know, I've got to be honest. We'll go physical. See if it makes a difference. Yes, it does. Quite the difference. The, um, the difference is quite stark, in fact. This should take it out, I'm assuming. Yes, it does. Our bird buddy puts in the work. He is a hard-working bird buddy. I think I see the skeleton key over there. But can we get around the Rantodon? We can. A bag of berries or fruit lies on the flagstones. Great walnut. Hmm. There's two of them. We're not going to get around them. They're too big. I actually stand corrected. Two Rantodons and a Panther Baron. Right, we're, um, this dude is not backing down. Nope, we're not getting flanked. We're not getting flanked. Nope, nope, dodge. Something is glowing by below the mural. There are typically enough skeleton keys in every forest to open all the chests. If I said contrary to that in my um, earlier parts of the playthrough, then I apologize. I was going to say, these fellas don't typically come at you. Unless you're going away from them. Oh my lord. Right. Um, yo, Venichu. You want to put some work in, son? He does. We know he does. He's gotten much bigger as well. Fire attack plus power. That does damage. The good thing is that Radtodon doesn't have any kind of elemental spells. So we're not at any sort of particular risk. Keep on hitting him. Good. Take turns, fellas. I can sit here and wait all day. Um, fire attack plus power. And he's down. Over to the Rantodon. That does damage. They are duking it out. Snake Buddy and Blue Buddy are duking. Who will win? We shall soon find out. We could attempt to poison. Give me a second. He is a multi-purpose snake boy. Can we poison? 
now. We'll try again. We'll have a second attempt at poisoning. Defend again. He doesn't hit very hard. So we can use that to our advantage. Poison it up. Uh, Dualco. We're having a bit of trouble here, friend. Do you want to assist? In the, um... The... Dealing with trouble. Arpatron would have made this a touch easier, but, um... His being largely incapacitated hasn't helped things. Defend. One more should do it. We have speed on our side here, so we'll use that. This guy is not the hardest hitter, but he certainly is fast. Done. We have brushed aside those who wish to cause us problems. Right, um, healing, yeah, and the Great Walnut as well, 112, okay, friends, Venichu, I'm going to take on this Pam, Pat Baron, Comes with another Rantid on. Right, um. Made our life a bit harder by doing this. Let's retreat. Probably not gonna work, but we'll try. It did. Well, that surprised me. Alright. I mean, to be fair. No, we'll leave it. It'll take too long. We're going to capture another couple of minions just for spinning. Actually, no. The stairs. The stairs. I totally forgot about the stairs. There's downward leading. There's a downward leading staircase. It doesn't go anywhere of note, though. Alright. It's fine. This will just be a regular Rantodon, right? Yeah, on its own. Um, Dualco, if you would. This will give us another level up. To make our bird a very hard-hitting bird. That does hurt. Um, right. Get defend him. Another one should do it. We'll soften him up with, um, one more regular hit. And then we'll bring out the, um, the heavy physical strike. That should be enough to deal with him. Alright. Hit him hard. And that should give us a level up. Oh, nearly there. It's alright.
More snails. You know what? I feel kind of bad that our patron just isn't getting any screen time. He will now. Come, my dragon buddy. We shall unleash righteous fury. There shall be fury. It shall be righteous. Hit him. What is it with everybody blocking his attacks? We had the goat four times consecutively. Now he's missing every single attack. Thank goodness the curse has been lifted. Five consecutive blocks from enemies. Done. The snail is snailed. His shell has not protected him this day. Yeah, he needs another level up. Poor guy's just... Been left in obscurity and I feel bad. Blue or red? I'm oh, sorry, blue or green? There's only two affinities. Green. Uh... Fine by me. Uh... Jualco? If you would. Actually, no, we don't, we don't need to. Uh, Venichil. Soften him up. We're gonna capture him. He'll be spun for money. Ow. Big, punchy snake boy. Hit him hard. Well, I did ask for you to hit him hard, and you certainly did. He has a move that inflicts poison. Thankfully, status effects wear off at the end of every battle. Right. He has an elementless physical strike from his fists and a poison type move. I don't know if um, my Venetu coming from a family of minions with poison type attacks gives him any sort of resistance, but he certainly has blocked it twice. So we'll take that as a gift horse and not look it in the mouth. Okay. Let's capture this big guy. Into the cocoon we go. Yes. We are the best we could possibly be. Ring of Venom. Skeleton key used. Bits of mugwort, special liqueur, and a replacement Tendai Yuaku. It was worth it. Is that a little glowy thing there? No, it's just scenery. Okay. We are now leaving the area. There's nothing to stick around for. Oh wait, no, there's just um, <coughs> either Panther Barons or um, Rage Regs there. You know what? I'm going to take that snail out. Give Arpatron a level up because he's been neglected. Poor Arpatron has just been hard neglected. Hit him! Oh, come on! I'm getting really sad here. Arpatron's just not connecting. 
And the enemy survives. We're gonna have to do some merging to fix a lot of this, aren't we? Oh, come on, poor Arpatron. Pity Arpatron, for he is a poor boy. Finally level 12. Right. Yeah, I must admit, our physical attack's alright, our magical attack's fine, our physical defense is pretty garbage, though. We are literally slap bang in the middle of being an all-rounder, just about. And one set of merging guides I watched from a particular YouTuber advised against being an all-rounder. But, um... I'm actually not complaining at the philosophy of being an all-rounder. We have a slight magic leaning, but a typically as close to being an all-rounder we can get. Our bird dude kind of sits in the all-rounder category with a slight inclination towards attack. I mean, Venetu is a given. Physical all the way. And, um, I don't think we need any kind of, um, argument against that. Hmm. Should we get Dualco one last level up? Get him to level 13. Alright. Oh god. Yes, a blue red dragon. I want that. I'll take it. Um... Hmm. Looks like it's Arpatron. What is it with all of his attacks been blocked? I'm not going to Deva Valley the arena either, because it's going to make the um, the Rage Reg's physical attacks hit even harder if he uses any of his water affinity stuff. Yeah, I'm swapping out. Swapping out. Dual Cup. Right, we'll take a physical attack, oh sorry, a magic attack, because they can't miss. Soften up the Rage Reg, I want to capture it. <clears throat> I do wonder if the magic's going to work better, actually. Should we test that theory? Excuse me if you can hear my dog barking in the background, folks. It's almost time for her to be walked. Perfect. Yeah, that hurt. Silver, get to capture my guy. And capture. I feel like I've struck a balance between my minions looking aesthetically pleasing and still being quite functional. Some of the merging guides I have seen have created some really powerful minions, but it essentially warps their appearance to the point where they just look like green, nondescript green creatures with, um, 
you know, really good attacks. Pupa key used. All right. We now leave the life we had behind. Well, just about. No skeleton key. Right. Is there another chest to open? I'll go back and check. We'll have a look here. I honestly don't know. Nope, we can't go back now. I guess we've just got a spare skeleton key then. Oh no, we can. That's the Temple of Kemuel. What I will do is go back and have one last cursory search. Because if there is a chest that we've forgotten, because like I said, there usually are enough keys for chests in any given forest area. So I'll run another search very quickly. Ah, yes. I would have forgotten about that. Had I um, not searched there of my own accord. The moth forest is very nice. It sucks you can only like go through here once and that's it. The music's super relaxing as well. Can't take that away from it. <clears throat> like I totally forgot about this whole segment. I no like it wasn't in my memory. I'd totally forgotten about it. Skeleton key used. Hey, of his blessing. Sparrow rough. Three great walnuts. Nice. Yo, uh, Levon, do you want to live forever? Nice. Give our boy the health. Avoid the army of Rantodons. I don't know what the Sparrow Ruff actually does. Shall we, um... Shall we check it? Ooh. Very high magical... Oh, very high speed increase. Ornamental item. Made of Sparrow Feathers. Boosts the heart and mind. Nice. Makes us quicker. <coughs> I do like the healing factor of the Noggy Belt, though. Let's have a look at the Whistler. Attack up, magical attack and speed way down. No. The Sparrow Ruff seems to be useful enough to at least play with. We'll consider that. <coughs> that Rantadon on there is struggling. We've got no reason to fight any more of them though. Let's just, let's go. We have one empty left, ten Fireflies. I'd, I'd say we've, um... We've given the Moth Forest... Enough respect. Enough service. We shall move on now. Ah, Windsnail. Hello, Windsnail. Windsnail. Meet Venetu. He likes pain. <clears throat> yes, Venetu really likes pain. Let him, um, show you the ropes. Oh, come on, damn snail. Right. And the snail is down. Want some poison? 
That helps. Um, just keep hitting him with physical attacks. The poison will keep whittling him down every single turn. The block doesn't matter. The poison will keep doing its work. Still standing. Oh well. Next turn he won't be. Yeah. <clears throat> and the job is going very well. Our boy Levant and his um punchy snake guy. Are men of many talents. Men of many, many talents. Punching and poisoning and capturing and typically many things with an ing on the end. If it's got an ing on the end, they are very good at it. Alright. The point of no return. There is literally no going back now. Hence why there's a save point there. It's your last opportunity. Um, no, we'll just we'll just take it and go. <clears throat> a lot of plot to follow here, so I'm gonna be quiet for a while. Silver. Silver. Can you hear me? Sure can, Michelle Ruff. I mean, This mother. earthy smell. It seems so familiar. Though I know I've never been here myself. This must be a memory from a past life. Well, let's open the gate. Hold my cocoon up high before the gate. I think that should work. Well, give it a try. Time of gathering. The young will have nightmares, while the old will see dreams. Before they are redeemed, the sun will grow dark, and the moon will turn to blood. The Promised Land. home of the Nagi people. I feel the presence of the chieftain from the middle hall. Let's go. You got it.
At last, the time has come. The time of gathering. Hey, Nay. I shall open the door, for I am the incarnation of Mephises, gatekeeper of time. You may call me Ni. Pod's about to go off the wall here, guys. Fair warning. When the four divine barriers have been opened, the power of light and darkness shall usher in the time of gathering. The guardian deities of light and darkness shall be guided by the twin dragons of Kemuel, and the Kumari and Kaya gates shall open. When the Chosen Ones pass through these gates and meet at last, the beasts of divine power shall be freed from their curse and achieve tranquility. And the beasts of knowledge shall gain the fruits of new knowledge. But it is the fruit that bears the seeds of admonition. We chose a midwife to be the incarnation of the divine spirit, Azura. And we sent her to Cyrus to confirm the rebirth of the Chosen One. The midwife I speak of is Garai. The prophet Gi spoke, craft a ring from the tears of Rhys and place it on the baby who arrives. The ring shall begin to glow when the Chosen One is born. We have been waiting for that time. Our souls have already experienced two ordeals. Lust was the first, the forbidden love of the Divine Spirit and the Beast of Knowledge. And then, the birth of the twins who possess Divine Power. We gained love from the ordeal of lust, but at the same time, we came to no doubt. The divine power of the twins was divided into light and darkness. That was the first seed of admonishment. The seed took root, forcing the Nagi out of their village. That is when they began their quest for the promised land. Greed was the second ordeal. It began with the love between Alcana, the beast of divine power, and Menik, the beast of knowledge. We heard that story from the gravekeeper, guys. The love between Alcana and Menik gave birth to the doubt of the masses. Divine silk was used in an attempt to conquer doubt and save love. But it did not work. King Karras, the Chosen One of Darkness, was dominated by greed. Light was torn from greed and became misery, and so was born the beast in our hearts. The minions of the forest, the beasts in our hearts. This is the second seed of admonishment. Once again, the time is here. Destiny awaits. All our hopes lie with the child who was born that day. We name the child the Ray of Hope. Of course, it is Mabu of whom I speak. The birth of Mabu signifies the reincarnation of Menek and Karis, the light and the darkness. As foretold by the prophecy, I sent Garai out on her journey with Mabu. You indeed are the Chosen One of Light, who was led here by the Ray of Hope. Your power is needed to provide physical vessels to the spirits that wander through space and time. The Chosen One of Darkness has already passed through the Kaya Gate. Now, he awaits you. You must pass through the Kamari Gate to reach him. You shall use the keys of the four divine barriers to summon the crystal for your first ordeal.
Before you can encounter the Chosen One of Darkness, you must undergo the ordeal of the Four Jewels. The first ordeal was Solitude. For this, you obtained the Jewel of Water. The remaining three ordeals are Fire, Air, and Earth. These ordeals lie in the forest far away, beyond space and time. Now, the second ordeal waits. You must venture into the beetle forest of the Netherworld. What? Is something wrong? Ah. Oh. You are worried about Mabu. Her metamorphosis is almost complete. No longer can she leave the cocoon. You must save Mabu by gathering all four jewels and defeating the Chosen One of Darkness. O oh, Chosen One of Light, you must make haste. Consult with me. Clear your uncertainties. I give you two Nagi maidens to help you prepare for your journeys. I am Ra. As a Nagi maiden, I shall serve the Chosen One of Light. Come to the Chamber of Purity if you ever require purification. Go through the blue entrance on the left. My name is Mu. Come to the Chamber of Goods to replenish your supplies. Go through the green entrance on the right. Make good use of their services. You can purify and merge minions as well as buy weapons and supplies. Now you must pass through the Kumari Gate and set out on your ordeal. Jewel of Water received, very nice. <clears throat> Now, folks, a lot of that lore that you will have heard mentioned there was um, first relayed to us by the old gravekeeper, Poto, back in Cyrus. You won't have actually kept track of a lot of that lore and storytelling unless you spoke to him. And, well, yeah, unless you spoke to him. And that is why I made a conscious effort to have the stories um well listen to the stories be told i am Ra. as a noggy maiden i shall serve the chosen one of light right we've got some merging to do i hope my noggy magic will be of service to you that line right there i hope my noggy magic will be of service to you <clears throat> it has been burned into my brain for years of the amount of times I visit the chamber. Perform Noggy Magic. Oh, I see, I have some Firefly Cocoon. Firefly Cocoons! Three or four times now in the playthrough. Firefly Cocoons. Let's begin by purifying them. Our enemy we love, and for the tormented we pray. Grant us the beast of knowledge, the power to touch the spirit. Okay.
Right. And I'll allow me to keep them for now. Just tell me when you need them. You got it. And the merging begins. So you will notice before that we um we got a hold of a <coughs> Pat Baron, it should be here. And a Patal Jew. No, I want it the other way around. Go Patal Chew first, then Pat Baron. I want to keep the shape of the body. Perfect. Very hard hitting. That'll do nicely. Good, good. We'll take that, and then we'll merge it with our Venichu. And he's going to look even better. Wait, wait, what? He doesn't have any attacks. Hold on. Give me a minute. That doesn't seem right. Is that a glitch or something? He hasn't got any moves. Oh no, this is a glitch. I've encountered this before. Oh no. They do. Sometimes you get a glitch where things you capture in the, um, the water forest don't have any moves. Oh, come on. That's going to make this play shoot devilishly hard. We have useless minions that I can't do anything with. Oh, God. If that carries over to the rest of the playthrough as well, basically meaning the save file is glitched. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It basically means we're stuck with what we have for the rest of the game. Because if I'm right in my assumption, that means the glitch carries over for the rest of the game. Notice that everything we captured before the um, moth forest has moves. Give me a sec. So if I was to do this, just to see... Oh good, it still has the moves. So I can still readjust the stat balancing. That's what I really wanted to do. So I'll tell you what we'll do then. I'm, I was doing this more for adjustment of the stats than anything else. So, we um... We go... Yeah, that is a glitch. I don't know if anybody else who's played this game before has experienced it, but I certainly have. It still applies to the um, Patal shoe, right? It does. They don't have any moves. So if we go Patal Chu. And then Pat Baron. He loses his moves, but that's alright. Let me check the appearance. That'll do. O oh, magic beast who doth serve us, merge thy bodies together and become of even greater power. Reveal to us thine heroic form. That doesn't make the run impossible for me. Because I've already gotten some um, <clears throat> pretty good minions that I could probably beat the rest of the game with. But it is going to make our, um, our options a bit more limited. 
to put it in another way. Right, so then we merge. We go... We then will go to Town Chew with Venichu. Good. So the two different fire attacks. The um the poison as well. Oh yes, that realigns our stats nicely. We're a solid attack in type now. Oh damn. Yes. Perfect. soon find out in the next part of the playthrough when we go to the um, the Beetle Netherworld if this glitch is affecting the rest or the rest of the game from here on because when we capture creatures from the Beetle Netherworld they won't have any moves either Venom Where's the hitch? Venetu. Then we equip. Yeah, anybody who's in the comments right now, have you experienced this bug as well, or is it just me? Damn, yeah, we're nicely aligned now. We're gonna hit very hard. If that Venetu will be essential to our next boss fight. After this upcoming forest. So, we could then combine... Yep. Then we um, merge the Radgore and the... Rad Dreg. Very nice. I like the way that looks. Some good attack buff in there. Hold up, wait there. Um oh yeah, the Ray Dreg doesn't have any moves, does it? So it won't get the plus power. It's alright, it'll at least I keep forgetting because we shouldn't have a bug where they have no moves. I wonder what causes it. If anybody in the comments could let me know, I'd appreciate it. Oh no, we do get the water attack plus power. It does, it works. Perfect. That's fine. Yeah, merge them by all means, do it. Magic beast who doth serve us, merge thy bodies together and become of even greater power. Oh, yes. Reveal to us thine heroic form. Yeah, and then if we merge this guy with Arpatron. Weird. Weird how it didn't. Unless I wasn't reading it properly the first time when I tried to, you know, combine them the first time and then paused. I love it. We have Punchy Snake, now we have Flappy Snake. Great. Yeah, I'll take that. Wind attack plus power. Yep, fine by me. O oh, magic beast who doth serve us, merge thy bodies together and become of even greater power. Reveal to us thine heroic form. Uh, 
Right, now can we combine the Hiralco with our Dualco and see what happens? I mean, it looks horrendous, but we'll, we'll go with it. Combine those. It's like weird science up in here. Oh, magic beast who doth serve us. Merge thy bodies together and become of even greater power. Reveal to us thine heroic form. We're doing all right here, folks. I'm, I'm not displeased by this. I'm not displeased. It works. Kind of. All right. Now we combine... Okay, so we have like a kind of horrendous looking Hiralko. On their own, they don't have any moves. I've got it now. That's a weird glitch. When they're on their own separately, as you saw, they don't have any moves. But if you look... When the ones we caught from the Moth Forest, I mean, initially when we looked through them, didn't have any moves. But merging them with other divine beasts brought their moves back. You'll see. See, look. Brought their moves back. You got the Salam Venom and the Ad Venom there. The Multi and the Maltese. And the Wind Attack Power and the Accuracy. Yeah, it's weird. We caught them on their own and they had no moves. That's a glitch. But merging them brought them back. Alright. So you go here, Alco. So you, Alco. Still the same appearance because of the body shape. I mean, we lose the plus power, whatever. But we have so many moves to play with now. That I can deal with. He doesn't look too abnormal. Well, as far as Divine Beasts in this game go. Alright, we'll take that. Unless merging it the other way around makes a tangible difference. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. You get the plus power there, but I don't want to mess with the appearance. I'll sacrifice the plus power. In order to um, keep the reasonable looking appearance. He looks a bit monstrous the other way around. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Oh, magic beast who doth serve us, merge thy bodies together and become of even greater power. I didn't think I'd spend like 15 minutes merging, Reveal guys. Reveal to us thine heroic thought. But I hope um, this little opportunity to look under the hood of merging and see how things work has been entertaining for some of you folks. Like, I genuinely hope so. I am finished. Okay, we're all merged and ready for the next forest. Let's go and sell some stuff. I am Mu. I am the Nogi Maiden who serves the Chosen One of Light. Please tell me if you need anything for your journey. Marvelous. Can we have some herbs, please? Right. Good. Right. So then we, um, buy two of those. Probably need at least four more of those. Shouldn't need more than one of those. So we've got Valerian and Akari powders. I'm gonna grab an Agni's Blessing and um, 
you will see why. Trump card for later. In fact, you know what? No, we're okay, actually. We don't need sleep spores. Yep, do. We'll sell the ring of death, actually. It's largely useless. Very um, low chance of actually connecting with anything. Two more Agni's Blessings. They're for Venetu. <coughs> Check the weapons, just for the fun of it. They have a lot more variety here. Spring Blossom is solid. But it's uh, horrendously expensive, as you can see. There aren't really, with the exception of the forest garb, um, many armors that can match Riketz's garb. But they, the one that can is pretty expensive. Weapons... Honestly, I'm gonna say, apart from the Spring Blossom, largely not worth it. But again, so expensive that I have never really bought them ever. So, you're heading for the Beetle Forest of the Netherworld, aren't you? Yep. Oh no, never mind. Did you folks hear something that sounded like a door banging in the background of her dialogue, or was that just me? I do wonder if they, um, since this was back like 20 years ago, if they did a lot of the voice acting recording in small home studios. Or in like a dinky little studio somewhere. But anyway, I do reckon, my awesome people, that this, this is where we're going to leave it. Because if you factor in the like 10, 15, however many minutes we spent merging, and the time to get here and all the um, the storyline that's just been shared with us. I reckon we've um, had a good enough part for now. So, I'm going to be coming back to you with some more very soon. A huge thank you to all of you for stopping in. And if you would like to support what we do here, this channel is supported on Patreon. You can become a silver patron for just, for just £2.50 a month. That's $3.00. The same price as a small cup of coffee or a bus ticket. Every silver patron gets an exclusive patron shout out at the end of every live stream and pre recorded Let's Play part. And a special thank you to our first silver patron at the time of recording this video, Mr. Jonathan. Very, very much appreciated. If you would like to become a patron, it's by no means necessary or required would be very much appreciated and the links to that are down in the um the video description and the channel's about section as i said a huge thank you to to everybody for stopping in um i hope you've had a very good time watching this playthrough so far thank you very much for stopping in i've said that twice now but oh well and i'll see you in the next one so guys I have been Silver, your host. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or night, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care, guys.